Yo guys, Ricky here with Updato.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out some of my favorite apps for this month. But before I get started, I wanna go ahead and ask you guys what videos you guys wanna see on this channel. Um, being that there was like a little bit of a weird transition when I started creating videos for this channel. And if you didn't get a chance to see the video where I talked about what is Updato, where did Hamza go, go check that out. It'll be linked down in the description. But I just wanna go ahead and ask you guys, what, what do you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see reviews on the latest and greatest phones? Do you wanna see Android related content? Um, iOS, Apple related content? You guys let me know down in the comment section because I wanna bring you guys better content on this channel. But anyway, yeah, let's get right into my favorite apps for this month. The Tor browser for Android is the first one on the list. Most people are familiar with this anonymous browser, also known as the Onion browser, that you can access the dark web. Don't do that with this. But now it's available on your Android device for free. This browser protects your privacy by encryption and three layers of server destinations. Tor blocks trackers, defense against surveillance, resists fingerprints, and disables plugins that may have access to your information. This is a great for everyday privacy internet browsing. Just try to stay away from the dark web, as I mentioned earlier. As far as my experience goes, I love it. The only thing that I would have fixed about it is that it's a little bit on the slower side, and that's because it has a bunch of encryption, so obviously it has to go through three different servers till it actually allows you to access the internet or that specific connection. So it is a little bit on the slower side, but it is worth it if you're really worried about your security. Next on the list is Abstract, Abstract, however you want to pronounce it. It's a 4K wallpaper app that features some of the best wallpapers, and you get this rich, vibrant look to your phone or even tablet. It has over 300 exclusive wallpapers available and it's created by this awesome artist. I don't know how to say his name. Um, here, I'm going to show it somewhere on the left side of the screen. And he designs many of the wallpapers you see on some of the OnePlus devices. Abstract can also help you save data usage by downloading the correct wallpaper size automatically. And if you have an OLED type display, since a lot of the wallpapers do have this dark theme, you are going to be able to save a little bit of battery life. So if you're looking for some unique, um, vibrant looking wallpapers on your Android device, definitely consider this application. Third is OneWeather. OneWeather is an app that brings everything you need to determine your days at your fingertips. With an efficient interface and display, you can get current weather status in your area, in-depth information, and extended hourly forecast are available as well as a 12-hour week forecast. You can also monitor severe weather storms through the live radar, which is really cool to look at. You can actually check it out at your location or even other countries and stuff like that so it's a pretty awesome live radar for easier access of course there's a widget available that you can add to your home screen so you can quickly check the weather at all times coming at number four on the list is lens distortion lens distortion allows you to create design and manipulate your photos to add real world effects add glass effects and even real natural sunlight rain snow or fog effects to make your photos more brilliant or to even add a little bit of you know, oomph to your photos. As far as my experience goes, I've tried this on a couple landscape and portrait pictures and you can get some pretty fire lens flare effects on here. Last but not least is Live Transcribe. This is actually uh, made by Google. I think Google bought out the initial application that made this. This is a free real-time transcription app for speech and sound. Using Google's automatic speech recognition technology, you can translate over 70 language at your voice. Live transcription is displayed on your screen and you can even reply by typing your response. Transcripts can actually be saved up to three days. I found this to be really useful for scripting videos. Um, this live transcribe feature is actually available on Google Docs, which I use to script some of my videos. And I can literally just say what I want to say and it does an awesome job at recognizing my voice. Being that I speak another language, Swahili, I've actually tried this with that as well. And it does a considerable good job considering that it's something outside of English. With that said, there's many different applications that do the same thing, but I found this to be the most accurate yet. Let me know in the comment section if you know of any applications that do a little bit of a better job or even just a better job than this application. And that's gonna do for this update of video. If you guys plan on picking up or downloading any of this particular applications, let me know down in the comment section. If you already have been using this, let me know what you think about it and how your experiences have been with it because I've actually just started using some of these applications recently, but so far I'm loving it. It's more specifically abstract because you can get some fire wallpapers on there. But anyway, other than that, that's gonna do for this video. Once again, this has been Victor with Updato.com. If you wanna check out what I do outside of YouTube, you can check me out on Twitter or Instagram at Victor's Fids. Um, I do a lot of video production work outside of YouTube, so if you're interested in that, I always put some behind the scenes stuff up on my Snap, on my 
my Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.